Welcome to the program, Agriculture on the Move. My name is Philip Sidney, your host. Today we are discussing a very interesting issue. Uh, I'm sure you have heard about the collaboration between St. Lucia and the French territories over the years. So today I am ambushed by two ladies who are going to give us, we have a nice discussion as far as the association with Martinique over the years, and of course the upcoming expo, which we are having here Friday the 25th and also Saturday the 26th. With me is Ms. Teresa Samuel, well known to St. Lucia, who is the president of the St. Lucia French Territory Association. And next to her is my favorite lady in St. Lucia, Geraldine Lendo Gabriel, who is our mayor of St. Lucia, of Caspi, sorry. Welcome to the program, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks, thanks. Thank you for being here. Um, Teresa, let's go back a bit. We will go down memory lane, all right? Mm -hmm. um, we began this collaboration somewhere about 20, 25, 26 years ago. Mm -hmm. I remember going to Martinique. Uh, of course, I think you were the one who really, really initiated this connection mm -hmm. with, with Mr. Adeney, you know, in Riviere Pilot. Um, why? That association, because you're the one who actually gone there with your um, association over and planned this activity. Tell us about it. Okay, good afternoon. Thanks again, um, viewers, Mr. Sydney and Madam Mia. I must say that um, the development between uh, Martinique and St. Lucia with that for agriculture, it is through the association in Martinique. When we visited, I went to Martinique and then I visited the foire and realized that it was a very good activity that St. Lucia could be part of. But they invited us to come as an association to be part of the delegation. But when I saw the nature of the event, I felt that um, the association would not be able to give it the value or give enough activity as to what I saw happening at Riviera Pilot. So I went to the ministry and explain it to the ministry, have them to give me an invitation letter where it was well accepted, and then I was assigned to work with my humble servant, Mr. Philip Sidney, <laughs> <laughs> at the time, and that is how we happened to go up there, and then it was a bomb. We, had, we went up there with Yadi, we went with all the ex, ex, um, expo, exposers from St. Lucia, and that is how it started. So from the very first um, trip, it was a bomb. So that's mean they realized that we have a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. And it continues throughout the years. And if you remember, um, in the years gone by before COVID, Riviera Pilot actually used to pay the passage for the mm -hmm. persons coming up to do the exhibition. And accommodation. And accommodation. Everything was paid for. Okay? And then um, that is the first time we are actually giving Riviera Pilot that opportunity. And it's so sad that with all the strike in Matnik, they cannot come as a good delegation as they wanted to. Mm -hmm. But they maintain the respect that they want to be there. But I must say, with Riviera Pilot, and not just Riviera Pilot, with other communities in Matnik, St. Lucia has done well. And they are looking up to us. And I think we are asking St. Lucians to come out and make them feel the same way that they make us feel when we come to market. Definitely. You know, I can recall that trip because I led, it was a, a trip with 98 persons mm -hmm. because we brought in not agro-processors mm -hmm. and I re can recall we brought the Viking traders Viking and traders, barons, barons foods. Food, yeah. And what was... Coconut growers. Yeah, and, and, mm -hmm. and what came out of this for Baron was when he went there, they they critic his label and his, they tell him that he's not ready yet yeah, yeah. and they tell him what to do up. and let me tell you he stepped up and today he's worldwide he's in russia that yeah, and he always he tell me that trip opened his eyes Open you know doors. um i brought in yadi and, and the, the thing of yadi what i remembered was so that the, the gentleman called me tell me lanya moon said he's sick so he's a little bit so he's a little bit 
<laughs> you know, and let me tell you, we, yeah, we had a bomb. And as part of the entertainment. Yes, as part of the, I brought, I brought in La Poca mm -hmm. you know, and it was really, really, really we good. We had at one time. Uh, yes, and um, what was also, in, you know, interesting for me was the exposure of the agro-processors. Yes. We brought in the Senusha Network of Rural Women mm -hmm. from Babono and, and from Miku, and they really, really came with their products and they did well. Up to now, their products are selling in Martinique, you know. Um, so that, for me, was an eye-opener. The CMOS did well, too. And the CMOS, yes. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, yeah, CMOS, yeah. CMOS came up, you know, and then and it died for a while, as she said. And then what I was really happy about is that, Mayor, you came on board. Tell us how, how, how th that connection came about. Well, I, I received very, very clear directives from my Minister of Local Government, Honorable Richard Frederick. One day he called and said, I have a lady here to speak to you, Mrs. Samuel, and I need you to work with her. Mm -hmm. So when she came in, I said, we arrange a meeting immediately, yes? So he walked out of his office, down to my office, and we had, had this meeting. And from the onset, I recognized that it was an important initiative to support from several perspectives that we do say that whole cultural uh, connection. Mm -hmm. And having been a former board member of the CDF, one of the first founding board members of the CDF, that cultural connection existed. And I remember he's now deceased, uh, Gandalf, Gandalf, Gandalf Sinclair, Saint Clair, mm -hmm. as really a champion of that. And to me, it became very easy to understand exactly what, what, was being, was, what was being asked of us as a council. Having shared it with my council, they were all on board, because others like Marius Modest mm -hmm. and Nikki so Cauldron. forth, Nikki, mm -hmm. yeah, these people understood what it was. So it was very easy for us to actually sell the idea of bringing persons across. We, we immediately came on board. And since then, we have been able to support two groups, as well as also work alongside the association to send a group of young students to learn the French language okay. as well. Okay. We see a lot can happen in terms of the French connection to mm -hmm. St. Lucia. We have Guadeloupe, we have Martinique, we also have French, um, French Guyana. Guyana. Right. So there's that cultural connection. There, there's the, the connection to our foods and so forth. And importantly, we know that when these persons are on island, our vendors do well. Because mm -hmm. what they sell, their spices, their clothes, the, you know, whatever that, they, they, that we do, a lot of the, the artistic pieces and so forth, the French people are connected yeah. to it. And so we see this as economic activity for castries as well. But as you indicated, Barron's Food used that avenue mm -hmm. to launch and to, and to become better. And we've seen that when the young persons went out, some of them have, have grown. We mm -hmm. have to continue to support. Mm -hmm. But we also saw the link between what was happening and also the government's policy of a youth economy. So we introduced young people into it as well. And we've seen that the energy and how they went out and, and, and produced. And for, for us, what is, was as key is the fact that having gone out as, those, as a group, you know how much they appreciated the people's response to their products and how much they, they by work, they recognized that the, the effort of working together the that collective action on their part to present St. Lucia as a product um, was so effective. So these are important things that I think that we need to build on. And um, more has come out of that because last year we had over 50 persons mm -hmm. coming out of Guadeloupe um, to, 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 to present themselves and to, to, work, to work with us. So. Um, it's, it's been quite fruitful, very, very short time frame, but we've seen quite a bit come out of our positive approach to, to the French, our French heritage, and also the fact that we have our neighbors who are French so close by, and the opportunities that it can present for them, 
as well as for our people. Mm -hmm. I must say kudos to our Minister for Local Government, the Honorable Richard Frederick, for embracing that immediately, mm -hmm. without question, okay? Yeah. And you saw what happened. Mm -hmm. But I want also want to, you mentioned, you mentioned Gandalf Sinclair. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember there was a group <coughs> in Martinique that came and sang a, a session song. Mm -hmm. oh. And I remember the old man singing that song with vigor. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we went to him and we said to him that um, that is a session song. Yeah. He said he knows. And so he said he wanted to come down to pay her royalties. Mm -hmm. And you know, he mm -hmm. died within that same month. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. And mm. I don't know what happened since. Yeah. But he recognized. And th that song is very, very popular in, 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 in Myanmar. So the art has taken us very, 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 very far. Um, in terms of the opportunities that you mentioned a while ago, the young people, right, who got the finance from the, 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 the youth economy, and they were on board with us. And let me tell you, they, I think they were interviewed, and they mm. expressed you know, how happy they were to get that assistance. And I think we need to expose that to more young people and expose them the way you did. Yeah, it's important for us to give them the mm -hmm. avenue. Um, if they start off in St. Lucia, we recognize it's a good product. We give them the opportunity to export. Then we are actually beginning to, to contribute to the economic development of these young persons and, and, and let them be what the truth is, they have the energy, they have the mm -hmm. ideas, they have the ability to be able to use technology mm -hmm. to actually go out there. I do believe that the young generation of St. Lucians are more entrepreneurial in their focus. We went to school, and for us it was go to school and get a job. Mm -hmm. But we now see a lot of them having the desire to set up business. Um, the products that we create, the products that the French people mm -hmm. embrace. Mm -hmm. What they have, we also like. Mm -hmm. So we see it as a win-win. And giving the young persons the opportunity, I think, is important. We see this growing even beyond that because one of the things that we've been able to introduce was the junior jazz. And you know they're excited by it. We, we will introduce them to it, and we are hoping that come May, you know, young persons from, from Guadeloupe, Martinique, French Guyana, mm -hmm. may be able to join our young people on the stage. We share so much, and it's important for us to expose our young persons. Who knows? We might be able to move this event now. It's in St. Lucia this year. Do we move it to other islands? So that the, that exposure takes place, and that ability for us to be able to meet them on their own grounds, just as they meet us on our own grounds, would be, mm -hmm. would be an important outcome. Mm -hmm. There was this guy, um, the mixologist, mm -hmm. on, our, on, on our talk. And mm -hmm. this guy, I mean, him, he, him, he made the activity. Mm -hmm. and the, the way he was able to interact with the public, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and he sold, within the first day, I think he almost sold everything. Our CMOS, mm -hmm. within the first mm -hmm. day, and it is amazing because we had this guy going around with the, the, the microphone mm -hmm. and he was going to each booth. So when he got to the CMOS booth, luckily he, there was a St. Lucian living in Martinique at that booth. So the guy was interviewing this young gentleman, but he could not speak the Creole. Yeah. So we went, Nick and myself went to, with him. And the, the lady took the mic and she said, Oui, oui, il bon, il bon, il bon. Ma, me casse oui. Moi, ça, il a quatre travail. Let me tell you, in two tours, you have people just flocking. So they found the right. They found that. So, so, I mean, marketing. You know, that that is crucial. That is very crucial. And I think um, we, we can go. Along. I don't know what was going to happen moving forward. Um, that's probably the answer. I suppose you may have in terms of what, what happened next year. Whether we're going to get another group of young people to expose them to. To, for the continuation of this activity. Okay, what is very good about this whole initiative is that it's supported by the French Embassy and Alias mm -hmm. Mosse. So, good. and we've seen the the various territories embrace it in a big way. Yes, unfortunately, we've had we have the strike situation in Martinique, and Martinique is a key mm -hmm. hub 
to St. Lucia. Um, but they have embraced it. And what we, what we felt is that if we take the initiative and those who have gone and know that they can get the economic benefit from it, go on their own and jo join the group, yeah, then we can idea. support new ones mm -hmm. to go through so that our, our group grows. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have not kept the support to castries. There are persons from Chozelle, Babuno, in other constituencies where, you know, we, we see it as a St. Lucian initiative mm -hmm. um, because, as you know, castries is really the melting point for all, all, everything. all ev ev so everything. <laughs> so we, we've, we've supported <coughs> them. Um, even those who do the, the straw bags mm -hmm. and, and hats and so forth, we, 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 they, they went, we had someone who, who went, and she was very, very happy. And what I have seen is that the desire to try new things comes out of that as well, and mm -hmm. to recognize that that product, people, are, people have given it a lot of support, good support, mm -hmm. so let me try something else, let me try something new. So it's mm -hmm. important for us to do it, and uh, I think one of the things that you forgot to mention is the gentleman in the wine. Vels, yes. Uh, yes. multi services. Yes. yes. Oh yes. And yes. Um, he, did well. um, he, 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 he did well, and 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 by the end of the first day, Almost he was everything. Yes. he was ready yeah. to chatter yeah. another plane yes. back to Saint yes. Lucia yes. to get yes. to get more products. <laughs> yes. So we know that that the products are well received, and we mm. see that as a very good testing ground for persons who in the micro, micro agro-processing sector as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think we need to always research the markets to see what people want. Mm -hmm. um, because if you go there with the right product, although mm -hmm. I think we always get the right yeah, product, because yeah, they are the teas mm -hmm. and, know you know, we, they, we, 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 we'd be in a position to be able to um, not only identify the, the, the product, but, but create the link mm -hmm. between ourselves and them so that we can do some level of export as well. That's right. Um, so it's, it's, it's important for us to not only support the young, the young persons. A mixture. Mm -hmm. Bring everyone out mm -hmm. there and even um, cause them to come in as well because they coming into St. Lucia is, is, is a very important um, source of economic activity we, mm -hmm. when they are here. Because it, there were times when we, we had times when we, I remember Aqua Action mm -hmm. quite a few years mm -hmm. ago. A lot of the French persons, the Aqua yes. Melee, mm -hmm. a lot, when the French people come, our small businesses do well, our small mm -hmm. restaurants, our small properties do well. So it has a touristic value as well, it has the economic value, the cultural link to ourselves and, our, and, our, and the, French, the French church is very important. Very good. Um, there are many of us who have relatives in those islands uh, where our, our forefathers mm -hmm. went out and had children. My, mm -hmm. mom, my mom has six, six siblings. I think she's the only one who was actually born in St. Lucia. The others were born in French Guyana, and so, so we have connection. So the connection is there, and many went out and work in those various countries. Okay. So we need to we need to recognize that and see the the historical, yeah, yeah. cultural, and, and and family links that exist between ourselves and networking. Twenty fifth, twenty sixth. Teresa, tell us where are we? Well, twenty fifth and twenty sixth, we have that. Um, trade show in Castries um, that will be held at the Constitution Park. We are having a delegation of 50 participants from Martinique and Guadeloupe. They will be exhibiting their products at the Constitution Park. And St. Lucians, you need to come out and see them. You will be having cultural um, groups from Martinique and Guadeloupe as well. You have the um, young and medium age entrepreneurs coming in. You also have the departmental and also the regional council that will be accompanied by these delegations. Mm -hmm. So they are not just sending their people down. The presidents have his first vice president accompanying that delegation. 
So they will be here from the 24th, which is Thursday, and departing from Monday and Tuesday. As much as they had um, challenges with the, with the flights, with FS, and some of these people, you know what, the um, vice president is traveling with the boat from St. Lucia to Martinique and flying out of Martinique to Guadeloupe. They actually make it work. I can tell you that it was a lot of challenge. Some of them are leaving on Tuesday because they cannot get a boat to leave on Monday. They also have this Yamaha activity the following weekend. All hotels in the north are full. Mm -hmm. Okay? For the Junior Creole Day, I can tell you it's really heavy because all the hotels rooms are full. Wow. So I am telling St. Lucia to come out. Um, they will be getting testing um, from Martinique and Guadeloupe. You'll have, um, we also have other person, um, companies from here that will be doing testing. So St. Lucia just need to come out and see St. Lucians, come and see Martinicans, come and see the Guadeloupean perform and come and get a taste of the country because we've been there before. We have had an exhibition in Martinique and Guadeloupe before and we did very well. So we are asking St. Lucia to come out and let them feel just as they made us feel at, in the country. Okay, and we're also having St. Lucia's participating, like Vel, the yes. CMOS people, you know, um, CDF is participating, mm -hmm. and of course we have entertainment, both St. Lucia Saint and Guadeloupe, and of course Martinique. Martinique, you know, so it's going to be a big thing. But there's something else happening. There's some twinning happening. Uh, my good friend from the mayor of Repair Pilot is not, not going to be here. I wish he was coming. He have his first assistant. Well, the, the mayor of Repair Pilot is not going to be there, but your good friend, Madam Rega, is going to be is here. Coming. <laughs> and <laughs> also, um, the, first vice, um, the first deputy mayor is okay. going to be uh, representing my Mr. Mayor because he's not able to be here. But he will rest assured that this twinning is going to, this signing accord will start with the city of Castries. Oh, well, Ms. Madam Mayor was supposed yes, to be directly because, involved. Um, mm -hmm. when we had the meeting with him, you can remember what he said. Mm -hmm. He said that this activity started long before, so long, and then right now, even if he was not the mayor at the time, but he continues because he realized it is something good. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that is what I am saying, that when you are doing some uh, work, hard work, and then you realize that it continues like this, this is something to embrace. Mm -hmm. Usually, you're supposed to have continuation, collaboration before uh, twinning. Mm -hmm. And then he said there's no need for that because the relationship is already, already there, Teresa, there. so we, all we have to do is just move it on. Mm -hmm. And if Madam Mayor continues what is happening there, as she said, she did not know what it was, and she put her trust in us so that we could have gone up there again, Madam Mayor, we have to say thank you because um, you did not know what it was and you trusted the association to go out there and exploit. And I believe we did a good job and you continue the following year. And that is what I have said to St. Lucia, whether the current government or the past government, when, I, when opportunities like this comes in the, with, to me from this the country. French countries, mm -hmm. I do not look at it as an association activity. Mm -hmm. I look at it as something for St. Lucia. As long as I know St. Lucia will benefit from it, I bring it to the whatever ministry that is involved. And it is not just these. We have agricultural um, exhibition that is happening and students coming in and do agricultural exchange. I mean, you've yes, been involved in that. Yeah. We have a delegation of agriculture that's supposed to be coming in in January. We have some netballers that come in, in um, sometimes late this year. So there is always a group of French people coming into St. Lucia through the association and networking for the other ministries. Great. So what we do, we involve everybody. It is not an association thing, it is St. Lucia. And I'm very happy that I must say, have to say a, a hats up to the members of the association because they are really coming out hard, working hard, sometimes late night we have to stay up, putting programs together in order to have these people come to St. Lucia and have a, a good stay. Mm -hmm. So I have to say thank you to all members and I'm hoping that everybody will come out and make the French people happy. Let us see that their products are sold, just as our products are being sold when we go out there. Um, one thing I have to say is, um, I remember when we went up there 2022, when the Madam Consulate, Miss Alison Joseph, came. And that was one of her first visions. She said, um, we need to do something where the French people can come to St. Lucia too, not only us coming up to Martinique. And it is so sad to see that this year this is happening mm, and she's yes. in French Guyana, she will not be there. Okay. Right. But um, she really did um, advise us to 
bringing this initiative. How that's going to happen? It's really a symbolic signing of the agreement, okay. and then we sit for us to look at what are the various initiatives that we can implement. What is good is that we have already we already have that relationship with Riviera Pilot, and so we know that agro in the agro sector that is where that would be one of the areas that we can work on. Mm -hmm. And we also want to see, you know, us embrace the language a little more. So we know that school is quite affordable in the French territories, nearby French territories, but you must have some command of the language. Mm -hmm. And the reality is that we tell students that you must do a language, but we never really explain to them the benefits of doing that language. Um, the OECS director of the OECS, Dr. Didicus Jules, has made it one of the um, objectives of the OECS so as to further um, our people to become more, more multilingual. And so if we do well in the French language, then our students can also take, take our young people can take advantage of educational opportunities in nearby territories. So we want to see development in all sectors, education, cultural, economic, and um, social components as well. Um, I remember what, speaking to some, um, some of my counterpart, a counterpart from one of the other French mm -hmm. countries, could have been Martinique, mm -hmm. and he, they were sp he was speaking to the need for us to introduce them to cricket. And we know we have quite a good infrastructure for mm -hmm. cricket mm -hmm. in St. Lucia. And we have a former West Indian captain. We also have Johnson Charles, who is doing very well. We have um, Kimani Melius. We have quite a few persons who, and think about it. Could you imagine us being able to set up an a academy where you know, French people can come in from the various countries to actually learn oh, to play cricket, cricket right here? Mm -hmm. So a lot exists, a lot of possibilities exist. Mm -hmm. But I think we've spoken about a lot about what can and cannot happen, which is why I embraced it immediately to say, let us do something. Let us try. We may not be able to send 50 people across, mm -hmm. but if we can send 10, and you know, we would do that. And then for us to actually grow it, because it is by taking those very small steps that we eventually become larger. And in fact, um, last year, we saw quite a a, a huge contingent, mm -hmm. in my view, of persons coming down for carnival. Mm -hmm. um, earlier this year, yes, not last year, earlier, mm -hmm. earlier this year. year. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the, the French contingent, and some of them were persons who had come in, mm -hmm. and so we met them again. So it is in that way that you create friendship, that you create bonds, and you create a mechanism for people to see the need to visit St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, no, no need your, your minute. Et puis, nous voulons les bouts parce que Gaspar n'est pas coup, mais c'est ma dernière. Dominique, qu'est-ce que ça peut respecter pour vendre des examens? Ça nous peut respecter vendre des examens, nous avons demandé pour nous parler la pluie, et puis nous avons dit tout ce qui est ici, sorti de l'or, venir voir la performance de cette liste, Martinique et Guadeloupe, en Constitution de Paca Cassoui. Nous avons dit tout le monde venu, et puis passer une bonne journée. Bien. Madame Meilleur? Eh bien, moi, je voulais. Je dis à tous les citoyens pour venir. Nous sommes des gens qui entertainent nous. Nous sommes des jeunes gens. Nous sommes des gens qui nous mettent à la société. Nous sommes des musiciens. L'école marche. Nous sommes là. Nous sommes des gens qui nous pour entertainer nous. Nous sommes des gens qui nous produisent pour nous acheter. So, no business was not Vini, and no business was not supporting you. Yes. Well, yes. thank you for being here, uh, oh, Madam oh. Samuel and Madam Mayor. Thank you very much. You've been watching Agriculture on the Move. Thank you for viewing the program. Remember, agriculture is our business. It's fresh. St. Lucia's best. The money stays here. Thank you again. I'm Philip okay. Sidney. Say goodbye and see you again. Agriculture on the moon. 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 Agriculture on the moon.